<laughs> that was, yeah. Wow. That was, yeah, that was crazy yesterday. Yeah. It was like two days ago. We talked to crazy. carjacking victims across the city, with many pointing to just how young some attackers appear to be, often oh, this teenagers. Is, this is one from two years ago. This is a blast from the past. Though. <laughs> we talked make- to carjacking victims across the city, with many pointing to just how young some attackers appear to be, often teenagers. Because of their age, we've never heard from them until now. You may be asking why we're even giving them a voice, not to glamorize their crimes or take advantage of them, but to understand why they do it and whether what- Wow, the prog- nah, prog- prog- <laughs> Yeah, the prognathism. You can see it. The give, the give away, yeah, you can see it. It's, it's there, like, yo, we're not the same. It's- <laughs> they say could help you stay safe. He's a 14-year-old carjacker. We'll call him David. I, like, dragged him out the car and get in. Nicole is 16, with a long list of carjackings on her record. How many? I'll say, like, six. A female. I don't care. Does she say six is 12? <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. six, but, like, no. The they females. count carjackings like they count dicks. <laughs> right, right. You see one right you like, 50. I only got in and like and rolled around the corner, so it's only like oh though. <laughs> and there could be hundreds of teens in Chicago looking for their next victim. After that first one, did you have any regret? Okay, nah. It's happening in dark alleys, busy parking lots. <laughs> Even steps away from your front door. I could just feel her hands around my neck. Leaned over into the car and put the gun to my head. Put a gun to my chest and said, if you move, I'll kill you. We've been tracking a surge in carjackings for two years, with many victims shocked by the age of their attackers. The wife of a man shot dead when teens couldn't figure out how to drive his car. <laughs> oh, my husband. I mean, Jesus. The daughter of an... Oh, Lord. to... These kids are dangerous. Right? This was before the kid boys, right? This was before the yeah. kid trying to think. Right? Yeah. Think yeah. about that. Yeah. It got worse. How to drive his car. Oh, my husband's back. <laughs> the daughter of an army veteran beaten to death by teens. It makes no sense to me. Chicago police say they've expanded their carjacking task force twice already this year. But until now, you haven't heard straight from young carjackers on what motivates them to commit these crimes, how they choose their targets, and if anything will make them stop. We spoke with three teens, setting up a room so we wouldn't see them and they wouldn't see us or each other. Nothing else was off the table. What drew you to it? Um, the game, GTA. David is talking about oh, the game, oh, game no. Grand Theft Auto. <laughs> if you don't got a car now, you can just take the car from people. It looked it fun. I wanted to do it. it Take fun, me back bro. to that first don't, time. Don't tigers like playing video games? Like, us, we was walking, and I told him, "Let's take a car." We saw a man, and we just ran and stuck him up and got in the car and drove off. Did he seem scared, shocked to see someone you know so young doing it? Yeah. Would you say that it was easy? Yes. He says getting the gun was also simple. People on Facebook and stuff, they sell guns. So you were able to buy a weapon off Facebook? Yes. Do you find that a lot of kids your age do that? Yes. Nicole does it for different reasons. I had some place to go and I didn't have a way there. Sometimes I even... (laughs) Bro. No. It'd be that simple, man. It'd really be that simple, like literally. How am I going to get yes. that? Nicole does it for different reasons. I had the, some place to go, and I didn't have a way there. Sometimes I even sell a car, like get a car just to get money. She says being a girl. Yeah, it goes. So she, she carjacks people, goes back to the trenches, and sells it to the homeboys, man. Like, yo, you can have this shit for $20, or give me $100, you can have this shit. 
Yeah, give me a give me a give me a circle and a little and a little ratchet. I give you this gym. Yeah, exactly. And they and they and they they they, they sell selling the passes around. That's that that happens. I mean, I've I've seen that happen with my own eyes. But a girl, a little girl, still carjacking people to take them back to the hood and sell them to drug dealers or sell them to hoodlums. That's a little different, right? Yeah, that's a that's a that's a rough one, man. Um, and she don't sound that old either. Works in her favor. Nah, she 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 14, 15 years old. Yeah. Money. She says being a girl works in her favor. They wouldn't probably expect a younger age female to be out here like carjacking. What kind of weapons do you use when you commit a carjacking? A knife. She has been arrested, but after a short stay in juvenile detention, she was back out. Is this something that you still are doing? Yes. In my mind, there's no child that's irredeemable. Tyrone Muhammad oh, spent 21 know. years in I prison for murder. Yeah, I see. Fuck this dude already. Fuck this guy. This guy's a fucking clown. Man. Ain't no, ain't no child that that can be left behind and shit, man. That's terrible. That's true. That that's terrible judgment though. Like like a person with that poor judgment, there's no way you should give him five hundred thousands of dollars every year. That's right. his judgment is just that statement alone. What do you yeah. mean? There's no group. There's no popular. There's no handful of people picked at random that no one in that group is irredeemable let alone a group that large of like being black children. Like there's plenty of people in that group that are irredeemable that need to be left behind. Bro, I, I bet he can't even spell irredeemable. Hell no. Nah. Short stay in juvenile detention, she was back out. Is this something that you still are doing? Yes. In my mind, there's no child that's irredeemable. Tyrone Muhammad spent 21 years in prison for murder. And before that, as a teenager. I did the drive-by. I did the car job. Oh my now Lord. he runs a mentoring. <laughs> I, have, I have a problem with this shit, bro. Yo, we talked Yo. about this before, though. Why yeah. the fuck do it have to be the most, like, <laughs> like the, the lowest of the low? They I get the, to stay. I no mean, shame. I don't even think we do that. I would work for our kids with some like violent convict. Yeah. Oh, you gotta you gotta be a multiple time felon to help kids out. Like what what, what, what type of parent? Who's worse? I this guy or the parent that allows their kids to be on him? I mean, I think you know what? The parent might might be a con. The parent might be a next con. Um, I think the the thing that he is operating here is the the community the low standard. Like so many of the men go to prison, so many of the teenagers go to prison, so many of the males in general have that yeah. jail prison experience in their background. That he doing twenty one years for murder is different than any other community. It's different than any other community. In another community, he would be an outlier. He would be like off the grid. He would be something that's, you know what I'm saying, way different than the norm. In the black community, okay, you did 20 yeah. years for a murder. Okay. Yeah, it's not that perfect. it's not that out of the norm. <laughs> okay. Yeah. It's I mean, listen, I've been in cars like just as recently as like, well, you know, not recent, but I've been in cars, man, where Every dude in the car except had, for me has been ten or ten or more years in prison. Right. You yeah, know, and I was gonna say, um, yeah, and this nigga last name Muhammad. You know this nigga, uh, one of these jailbird <laughs> scholar niggas. Yeah, that first line. Yeah, he, he probably in the NOY. Right. Probably fucking called a white man the devil and shit. Right. And he probably. Mm -hmm. and, and he probably only converted, so he wouldn't be in there getting, getting his uh his uh, getting raped, bro. He ain't wanna have to forcefully poop on me in, in prison. 
man. Yeah, man. But but this guy right here, whether he's tough or whether he's not, whatever, he's gotten money from the um he's gotten money from the city. Like this is not like this money is not going didn't just come out of nowhere. This money came from tax dollars. You know what I'm saying? He's been given money to for this shit. This isn't private, the Susan C, the John B, whatever organization that gave him this shit. You this know, is, I, this is the, our money. This guy here, Ike, is the leader of, of this group here, right? And one, mm -hmm. one, of their main, one of the main things they do is, believe it or not, they kind of, they have like their own, I guess, patrol cars, Ike, with like, and they police the police, Ike. Think about <laughs> that. <laughs> they'll, they'll go to like scenes right like you know how for example gas stations you know how those are fucking always getting gunned yeah. up right they'll show up and like police the police like right, what does that entail man so they'll um from what I've seen on like you know social media it, they're, they're like watching them making sure that they're I guess not mistreating you know people in the area Cause you know, I guess cops can be like, you know, get back. Maybe they don't stay nice enough. <laughs> or whatever, you know, you know, but just, just getting in their way, you know, just fucking. I, you know, eyeballing. You could imagine, right? Just being a nuisance, being just like, being like a fucking just, nuisance. Just being like, being a waste of space. Right. Coming to the crime scene and bothering the people who have literally. Made it so that the guys who were the who who made the crime scene had to actually leave, right. like like they literally or who have arrested them. You're coming up there to bother those people, right? And, and I know guys are that, tax dollars. Yeah, yeah, and I know guys that part that are part of like I guess his patrol unit or whatever they call them. You know the the cops have grabbed some of them with guns on them. You know what I'm saying? Think about yeah. it. Of course, this I mean, no surprise there. Yeah, you gotta, I mean, this shit is basically a scam, bro. To stop teens from landing behind bars using his own life as a cautionary tale. What have you found has worked? If you don't replace their activity with something constructed where they can see themselves making a living, then you'll never... That's bullshit. Uh, so you gotta... You gotta get these niggas, like... At all, bro, this is the another argument, bro. These niggas gotta be occupied 20 can be making a livable wage while being occupied right. so that they don't be out here fucking carjacking and, and, and killing her, killing yeah, her being complete drags of the society, like all children. Yeah, it, make, it makes yeah. you wonder what, what are the Asian kids doing that they gotta be busy every fucking minute of the day. That's what I'm saying. It's like, what? Why does this not apply to any other group of kids except for these ones, bro? Listen, these kids. It doesn't apply to these kids either, though, because whatever he does, that's going to keep them busy. These niggas right here, they're not going to that. Like whatever. Oh, he right, does, right, right. It right. doesn't. He, these kids ain't buying that shit. These kids mm. is. The, they love the street life. They love the block. They love, you know what I'm saying, the trenches. Yeah, come down here and we'll do job training. Um, and I'll train you how to fucking do a tax form, do your W-2s and how to fill out a job application, man. And you can get on the computer and look for some jobs, man, and fill out some applications. And then you can um, learn... Uh, how to, uh, like, I don't know what the fuck, job training, whatever the fuck it is. And we'll give you, uh, we'll give you, uh, what, uh, five, $5 an hour. And at the end of the week, you get your check and you come pick up your check. Like, yeah, some kids would be down for that little stipend shit, whatever. But it's too much structure. The kids that have, that the kids that can handle structure, are not on the street. These yeah. kids right here, they can't handle no structure. They can't even handle school structure. It's yeah, the frontal yeah. lobe, man. Like, it's just not there. So it's just not really in the cards for these folk. Yeah, like you said, the kids that are in these programs, 
they they're not the 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 target of the program. Yeah. They're not gonna give the thug something to do. Yeah, the kid that kid that the kid that he actually can pull to the side either got ran off the block or he just like literally um ain't really that deep in it. Yeah because your homeboys will be like, What you doing? What? (laughs) What you doing? I'm about to go down to the program, y'all. Beefing, nigga. Them niggas is sliding, man. You about to go to the program while our ops is sliding? Yo, what the <laughs> fuck? We literally actively warn with another click, and it's up. And you about to leave and go to some program and be there doing some sh- bullshit? Nigga, we about to fucking, yo, could you imagine the conversations behind that kid's back? While he's at the program and shit, while niggas is getting shot at and <laughs> ducking and dodging bullets, and then he show back up later on that night, like, "What's up? What you mean? What's up, bitch ass nigga? We've been out here dodging bullets all day." And she, you know what I'm saying, <laughs> nigga? Fuck, nigga, where you been at? Oh, I was at the program. All right, y'all, I got about to go to sleep, y'all, because I got to wake up in the morning, go back to the program. Nigga, you not part of it anymore now. Yeah. They can get a YMCA league, son man, but they you ain't gonna you ain't I don't even know if you're gonna be able to get the JV Sun Man in this shit, bro. Yeah, it's it's just it just doesn't like it's it's corny. First of all, it's corny. Street niggas don't like corny. Then it's also could be seen like yo, Slim probably a fed. You know, the niggas gonna start the rumor like he a fed, he with the police. But what they ride around, you said they got little cars and shit, patrol car. Oh, yeah, they're them niggas, the police, man. You fucking with them niggas, you hot, man. Like, it's not, man. They're constructed where they can see themselves making a living, then you'll never fix this problem. And there's a lot of work to be done. Nine months into 2021, there have been 1,203 carjackings. In 2020, over 1,400. Chicago's on track to surpass that number this year. And these two years netted more carjackings than the previous three years combined. Nearly every neighborhood has been hit. Nicole says she often targets the loop. What about that area makes it a prime spot? They uh, think that it's like more safer for them. They don't have to worry about nobody running up on them. They think it'd be more safer for them, but shit, that's good hunting ground. They think it's more safer for them. Damn, she's a savage, yo. She's out here. Shorty is out here. They think it's more safe up there, but they don't know I'm up there. A 14-year-old black girl. I'm lurking. It's up. Shit. Long neck ass, so long neck ass, man. God damn, man. I'm gonna terrorize these white folks. You know what she said? The loop, loop is code for white. These two years netted more carjackings than the previous three years combined. Nearly every neighborhood has been hit. Nicole says she often targets the loop. What about that area makes it a prime spot there? think that it's like more safer for them. They don't have to worry about nobody running up on them. Have you ever hurt someone? No. Liar. No, it hasn't got that far. Though she admits it can quickly escalate. People are losing their lives because of this. People are paralyzed because of this. Do you think of the victims? I want to say, yeah, but like in that moment, you might not be thinking. Chris, now that's 19. a lie. She, 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 they don't think of the victims, man. They, they don't, don't have empathy. No, nah, they don't. Now, yeah, it's not like they. It's not like a, a bad thing. Like they're being mean. I think they. They can't. Yeah, they can't do it. It's not on the. It's not. It's not an option in their little fucking. You know what I'm saying? Their, like, their little no, son mind. <laughs> yeah, it's nothing. It, it, and, and listen, it's not even. It's not even like that they're bad people, man. They don't care, man. Like, 
somebody back then, like you you carjack somebody, right? Whatever you, happened to them, whether they were dragged, whether you pistol whipped them or whether you shot at them, you're gone. You're driving down the street. You're back in the hood. Yo, I got this car. I'm trying to sell it. You know somebody trying to sell it? Nah, I'll make some calls. You call around. Da, da, da. She, a couple hours later, somebody come by from her. She go in the house. She buy some chips to carry out. She back in the house eating the carry out, talking on the phone. Two days go by. And it's like, what the fuck? Like, Yo, she probably don't even watch the news to know that the person she dragged down the street died. Yeah, they're like they're like not a, they're not immoral. They're like amoral. Like they just don't have the capacity to. And why should they? Because I mean, like all the other sons like kill each other and shit. So yeah, they just don't really care. Yeah, it's 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 it's, it's no reason for there's nothing. Um, in her life, there's no nobody in her life that would like press her on that. Like, there's nobody who would be like, "Oh yeah, where you get this car from? Did you hurt anybody when you got this car? Because I ain't taking this car if you hurt the person." Like, nah, right? Man. That's glider shit. That's glider shit. I would definitely say something like that. Like, if someone tries to just sell me like something used. I'd be like, hold up. Who did you hurt to get this thing? That's not allowed. Yeah, nah, man. Salute to Doug Chunks, man. Off Nation Hall of Famer, Mount Rushmore. Supremely based individual. The notorious nostril strike again. God damn, we can almost see him in profile. No, no, I was just gonna again just reflect on I'm just glad to be here with you guys, man. Like the only place where we can have an honest conversation, man. Anywhere else, if they were to hear me say this, I they're gonna tag me and say You're not black. You're not black. What are you talking about? You're Mexican, what are you will about the cartels? And so on, you know, I don't gotta repeat. I, I just appreciate you guys, everybody in the chat, support the channel. Where else can you go? Yeah, facts, man. Salute to Doug Chunks. He says, Hey, Ock, the likes to watch your ratio is looking pretty good tonight, lurking and working as always. But let's add some more green to the chat. Salute. Shout out to you, 15 months, Ock Nation Hall. Um, member gifted 20 memberships, just gifted 20 new memberships in honor of Doug Chunks. Man, we gonna go members only, man. Um, salute to you Doug. got no excuse not to have a membership, yeah, man. You gotta have a membership now, man. Um, but yeah, this, 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 um, this little girl, man, right here, the, the, um, the mind, like your mind, because if you're a glider or you're just, let's just say you're, you're a black person and you just, you know, not familiar with this type of stuff. All black people aren't familiar with this. These type of people don't know these type of people. If you're like sep uh, removed from this a little bit, your mind wants to tell you that this girl's rare. A girl carjacker. Oh, man, it's just her. She's the girl that does the carjackings, and that's it. Boom, 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 put a bow on it. It's her. There's a girl that carjacks, and it's her. No, there's a bunch of girls like her in that city, man. 13-year-old girls that'll fucking kill your ass. Dude, when you see a bunch of kids, you know how they go down to downtown and be wilding and fighting the cops and shit? Like, you know what I'm saying? And, and, and like, you got to understand, like, when we see... Hundreds of kids marauding downtown, breaking windows and robbing people. And the cops are like helpless. They can't do anything. They got to like bring in the fucking National Guard. Put it's back up. Her. <laughs> you know yeah, it's a bunch of hers out there. When that shit yeah, a bunch happen. of 14 year old black girls that are like <laughs> toppling the city, bringing it to its knees. They basically conquered it. 
Fucking yeah. jumping on cars and twerking, break, twerking on car, police cars and breaking yeah, into the stores. Central it's Park her. fiving people. Like it's in their it's just in their nature, man. Like she's not the girl that got killed at the college, man. The girl that got killed at the college terrified of these type girls. I mean, terrified of them. More that, scared that of these girl. type girls than you are scared of sun men. That college girl was like on the right side of the sun bell curve. This yeah. year is right in the middle. This is smack down the average right fucking here. <laughs> and that, that college girl, well, no, I don't know about that. There's a lot of those college girls. That college girl would stick up for this girl. Oh, that Lord. college girl would see. Yeah. Absolutely. Lord. I mean, she would, she would, she would make a thousand excuses for. Her. Yep. She would do everything she could to help her. All that shit. In that moment, you might not be thinking. Chris, now 19, committed his first carjacking at 15, with his sights on areas like the North Side. In neighborhoods that have low crime rate, but like wealthy people. He also tracks the police, looking for gaps in service. Which area is the slowest on police cars coming around? Chris says he's carjacked drivers just to have a ride around the city. But there's another deadly reason. What he calls hot cars are often used in drive-by shootings. Has there been a time where you used a hot car for retaliation? I like that stupid goddamn on Brito from earlier that used his own fucking personal car. To, do, to steal those fucking purses. What, what was that earlier? Yeah, that shit was retarded. Yeah, at least, at least sons ain't that fucking stupid. Yeah, you yeah it's the slowest on police cars coming around. Chris says he's carjacked drivers just to have a ride around the city. But there's another deadly reason. What he calls hot cars are often used in drive-by shootings. Has there been a time where you used a hot car for retaliation with an enemy gang related. That's a touchy topic. I have been in a situation to where a hot car was involved. Chris says he recently stopped carjacking. His mother discovered what he was doing and kicked him out. He also became a father. Retired. She told me, get yourself How good together. Is oh, my God, man. Think about that. He just reproduced. That's why I tell you guys, you gliders, man. That's why I tell you gliders, man. I'm not talking to burritos. I ain't talking to fucking sons. Y'all got to, y'all glad has got to, like, if he's got a kid already, right? He's for what? He's he's 16. He's got a kid. You know, you got to, you got to balance that. There's got to be a counterweight to that. <laughs> you must balance his nostrils and, and evil with, with good, right? <laughs> hey, hey, new guy, do you plan on having kids or do you have any kids? Yeah, absolutely. I'm just not, like, at the age yet where... It's a thing, but yeah, no, of course. What's your what age do you mean? Group? What are you, 15? <laughs> no. <laughs> What's your age group, new guy? Like, if you don't, if you don't mind. I'm new not, guy, like, you, I'm, need, you need to have I'm babies not, right I'm now. I'm 30 yet, so, like, I'm not just going to, like, be a Tyrone and have, like, five kids with some trailer park. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, yeah, you, no. Need, you, need, you need five. I'm not sure. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm hoping for, thing. like, three. I think that'd be a good a good move. Three. No, five, bro. Bro, we need y'all. We need y'all to populate the earth with 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 high IQ uh, gliders, bro. Yeah, get Canadian Nation. trad wife and uh, see. This is like a hired to Saskatchewan. Like I, can, this is like again, like the constitutional carry, the abortion. Like this is why you, I just can't mess with conservatives because, like, quite frankly, we need abortion. Oh yeah, yeah. That, right. Yeah. That's what I don't. We need to focus on abortion rights in Africa. I think there. <laughs> yeah, I don't, like, what's I don't going on with that? Up. We gotta f fucking bring abortion yeah, to the right for that to, to the Africans. Yeah, I don't mm. know if I can set myself like a like one of these fucking like hardcore conservatives and shit. What about you, Hot Block? Hot Block, you need a kid too. We need two at I'm least. On that. But. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't, you know, this is, <laughs> be talking about one voter, one issue voter, this is uh, sort of it for me, I would say. This is the, 
you know, what I when I go out in the world, whether it's been here where I, you know, live in Chicago or in where I was in New Orleans, like the primary threat to my existence seems to be these people, generally speaking. Yeah, everybody's it's everybody's you know existence. So I mean, like that seems like a, a hot button voting issue, right? And I don't know if that makes me conservative or what, but I think it depends. I think I mean. Obviously, me and you understand that's our biggest issue, but there's people that believe that uh, the umbritos are are the biggest issue because of the open border, and also, be, and I think it's fair regarding fentanyl. I think fentanyl is a serious issue as well. Yeah, well, I mean, the China men are fucking manufacturing it in bulk and you know importing it in yeah. and now they're coming in droves too i mean the border is not owned by the umbritas even though they're the no. primary traffic over it you know i was looking I'm, I'm reading a book on that right now right um on the on the organized crime in mexico and um it was touching on uh, into detail regarding the fentanyl and and i just can't help but like reflect on um just how you know the dna it's it's just I don't know how to put it, but like we're destined for each other almost in umbrellas and gliders in the sense that uh, our DNA forces us to do what we're doing with, you know, that organized crime or whatever you want to call it. And then the gliders, you know, affinity for abusing substances. If you don't mind me saying, you know. No, you're, you're not lying. It's just very, it's a very harmonious, and, and, and it's, so, so, it's so tragic how both sides of the border are being devastated, you know, because in in, uh, in Mexico, so many people are dying because of the, you know, they're fighting to supply drugs to the gliders or to the Americans. And the gliders are, the Americans are overdosing like a motherfucker right now, you know? Yeah, nobody's winning in this. It's, uh, yeah. I, I honestly have always thought that, you know, I mean, I don't feel... <laughs> Just to be completely honest, like the the huge kinship difference with hombritos that I do with some people, because like, and and I grew up around a lot of both, right? But yeah. oh, I, one you, group in particular is just like the fuck, like what the yeah. fuck are you doing? Do you grow up around around um, burritos too? Yeah, I mean, in Louisiana, especially after Hurricane Katrina, buku fucking oh. Mexicans, you know. How was that and, for you? How was that uh, experience? Let me just say, uh, Mexican never never did shit to me. Yeah, on the contrary, I would imagine for the most part, right? Um, even in Chicago, now that you're here, I'm sure you come across again, a lot of uh, yeah, nice Buku, people. but again, they never did shit to me. I can't say that about Sun Man. Haven't been in Chicago for three, four years now, and you know, yeah, they, they could be, they could be a bit unbearable, the Sun Man, you know. But it's it's crazy how uh, just observe making that observation makes you a bad person, you know? Yeah, I'm full of hatred because like. Right. Hey, the only people who have ever done shit to me have looked like the same way and behaved the same way. It's right. not just black people in general, you know. It's like you can see it coming from a mile away if you're, you know, yeah. you know what to look for it. You're looking in the right direction. Right, and, and I mean, it's not—it's not to say that you have, for example, will treat anybody differently, right? Like, from just based on on that necessarily, right? Like, you came across, um, Ike or whatever, Javon, right? Or, you know, any of the hundreds of people, black people I've interacted with, liked and loved in my life. I mean, right, exactly. You know, but the, none of them were wearing push heisty masks and fucking sagging yeah. and fucking, you know, killing each other and shit. Yeah, yeah. No, the thing is, nice. like, uh, just from like a, a, a pure like game theory perspective, it just doesn't make sense for gliders to not live in a homogenous society because they only have. They only have things to lose by welcoming in other people, whereas those people have things to gain yeah. by entering. But can gladys do that though? It doesn't history has shown that they maybe they don't do that, right? I mean, at some point, n- name name me an empire in gladder history that didn't at some point allow diversity to look in Stinian Empire. I mean, whatever. Can you but, name me uh, one? Can you name me an empire? I mean, like uh, America, probably before the '65 Immigration Act was, you know, I mean, it led in like but various. But that's the point, though. But that's the point, though. It, it happens. It happens. And they started off fails. by, you know, uh, bringing the problem over here too. So we lose points for that. Off, off that's of that. a good point. Yeah, yeah. I mean, well, you know, well, you have to remember, like when when uh, when America was discovered, right? Like it's like the the nations at that time were, you know, 
all those European colonial nations were not really like thinking of establishing states, right? That's why like so many of the slaves went to Brazil. They weren't thinking about like establishing a Portuguese ethno state there. Well, that type of no, shit came this afterwards. is the thing that I constantly no. struggle over myself. Mm-hmm. Like, what the fuck are the Spanish and the Portuguese? Honestly, let's talk about that because right. oh, they're, the question they're I just like tan gliders. Yeah, I mean, they're, they're they gliders with a lot of North African admixture for the most part, right? And, not and, really. Like, they're they're very glider races. Yeah, so they're very they, glider. They're yeah. tan, the Italians have have a more mixture. I feel like, right? Well, I think that's that they the got more going on than like you know Anglo Saxons, don't you think? The, the Spaniards and the Portuguese? Yeah, Iberian Peninsula so. people. I would say a little more. Just kind of how, like, the Eastern European... So they start a off a little swarthy, you know what I mean? This is what I'm saying. Like, then they go over to the New World and breed with, uh, you know, indigenous people there, and we get mestizos yeah. and shit. Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the, the gliders, I mean, you know, anyway, that's just... I, I, no. I often wonder because I get so many different answers. I got a, one of my best friends is from Honduras, and when I ask yeah. him what race he is, he's like, bro, I'm Spanish. <laughs> you know, like does he look? Does he look Spanish? No, he looks like a mestizo. So okay, which well, is you, you know, which is cool and everything. I'm just would like, you, well, would you say different answers. Would you say he's more white or more Indian though? In his behavior, like, more white. And what about and, his appearance? Um, that middle? I would say more Indian. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. But not by a whole lot. Yeah, see, I wouldn't consider myself Spanish. You know what I mean? I consider myself... Well, right, Spanish. and that's what I'm saying. You get a lot of different answers on this question. Like, for somebody who's yeah. not, you know, from a far... Like, <laughs> it's like that joke about Argentinians. They think that, you know, they're all white and shit, right? Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. Most of them are, though, I think. A lot of them like, are, yeah. but the, Maybe, I mean, like, three out of though, four. You know what? I, I don't know. I don't know if I agree with that. I, I, I always said that... I hate to uh, break it to them, but they're not way. You know, they're, they are in at the end of the day. Well, I don't know. Then it gets into the whole, like, are Italians white? Are Jews white? Exactly. Like, well, they're like, though. What about Sicilian, yeah. Sicilians? They're, they're they're right. Allegedly, Sicilians have African blood. Or, you know, you know how sons always do that. But they're pretty glad, though. They're pretty glad. The Sicilians are darker. I would yeah, say they might have. I would say they might have more sons over there. Ben Franklin wrote that he thought that everybody that wasn't Anglo-Saxon and Nordic was basically of the swarthy <laughs> races. Right. That Some included word. France, Germany, Spain, yeah. Portugal. <laughs> I've heard that. I've heard that before. Well, like I mean, the founding population of America was basically Anglo-Saxon, Nordic, and Germans, essentially. That was basically what made Germans? America like a good, Ger- a good place. But well, aren't Germans, uh, they're Aryan, right? Yeah, well, well, actually, what a lot of people don't know is, like, after the Roman Empire fell, like, Germans, like, invaded the native British population and, like, mixed with them, too. You know that, right? Mm, I did. Hear, I heard about that. I always thought Anglo-Saxon referred to, like, the fact that it was a mix of Anglo-Germanic and, like, Northeast, Northeastern French. Because they built Rome and stuff like that, I think you're right. Did they like build Rome? The, no, the they, Rome. they said they said uh, Rome built London, some crazy thing like that. Well, yeah, well, I think like, it used to be uh, called Londinium. The the Romans right. like invaded the the British that were I don't know you'd call them like native Celtic people at that period of time, and yeah, there was like. Like Rome invaded everywhere and improved everywhere that it yeah, invaded. Yeah, that's why they, inv- they invaded Correct. Britain and Correct. built the Hadrian's Wall to keep the Celtic yeah. barbarians out of their territory. They're like, we gotta keep these fucking them but, and the Irish. But they're all the same, dude. At the end of the day, those are all they phenotype. They yeah, phenotype all, is the same. Like, yeah, Similar, they're but they're not. The same, I don't think. But they are they're not the same. Weird. But they are though. They're like in that glass. I'm Haitian. I'm Haitian. Exactly. I cause African is is uh, Nigerian. Not the yeah. same. Yeah, Although I first I think a little bit uh, I heard yeah but I heard um Ak people was the ones that sold yeah, the Haitians yeah. to the France and all but that we were we people, were the slaves bro. but what I'm True. saying though is the Haitians Nigerians Congo it's all they're all the same Sub-Saharan yeah Team Sun right it's kind of like you know again I hate the Argentinians and not Durians Team Umbrito right. I mean, the Chinese got to take the, the, you know, someone told me here that um, 
that the Laos isn't as ghetto as I thought it was. But Team Tiger, right? They're all it's, it's, but Hondurians are mixed though too though. Um there's some burritos too though. I never I never really seen uh, the Hondurans. Brian TV, Flores. They, they have a lot more uh, indigenous than anything from what I know because they're short, they're little guys. I agree, but Brian Flores, one hundred percent Hondurian. Yeah, I mean there there's Mexicans that are that look like you know. I, I mean I've seen that too. Yeah, man. Salute to um, um, Doug Chunks, man. Shout out to Boy Kachina, man. He says, Chunks of Doug. Big thanks with Hey, Ock, and the chat way. Yeah, man. Salute. Um, and you'll be able to be here for your son. That's what really changed me. Nicole and David say their families were unfortunate examples. Seeing my brothers go in and out of jail for this type of stuff. I got family members that are also doing the same thing. Do you think that that played a role in you doing it? Yes. Muhammad tries to change teens' paths by getting them jobs at construction sites, partnering with local businesses, pastors, and legislators. But is it enough to make them successful? Absolutely not. Not with outright mentors being positioned. Because the moment that those young people are interrupted, frustration with life, they'll go back to what they know. While David and Nicole haven't reached a point where they want to stop carjacking, they still talk of big dreams. Nicole wants to be a doctor. Working in UIC hospital or something. Yikes. Taking care of people or save people's lives. Dave yeah, okay. Imagine her fucking being a doctor. Walking into, into I can room. imagine her working like at an elderly care clinic and beating the shit out of some elderly yeah, octogenarian. Some glider, some glider. Yeah, glider yeah. octogenarian. Yikes. And none and notice none of them say, yo, I stopped because I realized this shit was fucked up. They're just like shit yo. Was wrong. Like I had a <laughs> reckoning with myself and yeah. really looked into my soul and, and thought about my motives. None of them none of them had like this moral <laughs> internal struggle with this shit. It's just like man, I'll just you know, I had a little boy and shit, you know, I wanna be around for him and you I know, saw, know what I mean. I saw my brother was going to jail when I was like, shit. <laughs> I mean, oh, oh. Right, right. Interesting. But it's like you can't blame them because they, they, they're not responsible for the society, right? They didn't build it. So it's, it shouldn't surprise you that they, like, don't have planning initiative and shit like that. Uh, yeah. Wow. Um, this is not the shadow of a builder here. Yeah. Only, <laughs> only a son would think you can go from being a Kia boy to a doctor. That's bro. Yeah. That's like a that's like a dream son art. That like, is the American dream. For some <laughs> I came from I yeah, came from gang banging, shooting people, and robbing people to to now I'm a doctor, and now now white society has to respect me, and now yeah. I got street credit from from black society. But why wouldn't you think that the guy who's heading the program did 21 years for murder? That's right. Yeah, that's yeah. right. He's like a, some just have like a psychosis, like they're just they got them dark triad or triad traits, like they're just bro, they're just different. I can imagine you get shot in the doctors. Yeah, this is her. This is her. If she was a doctor. I know that I think there's ratchet to a whole different level. Yeah. Style boot is all bleak. Waistline snap. Got a bag of body and a smile. She's literally, oh that woman, that woman, oh shit, yeah. Nice. That woman was literally twerking and doing something while people were under. Yeah, she got in trouble for that 